Around 90% of global trade still involves transport by sea, but conditions vary for the world's 1.2 million sailors. International standards have been hard to enforce, especially on ships flying flags of convenience. Now the Maritime Labour Convention, a set of basic labour policies and rights, looks set to gain the force of EU law in European waters. The fact that there is an enforcement both by flag states but also by port states, these two elements together, will improve the effective uh, re respect for living and working conditions. The Employment and Social Affairs Committee has adopted a report bringing the Convention within the scope of EU law, although most MEPs wish the Commission had stuck more closely to the original wording. We have to hope that the Commission will be true to its word and build upon the directive, um, upon the Convention, and, and fill the gaps with easily digestible and understandable guidance and information. One element of the Convention means enhanced ship inspection rights, including for vessels flying flags of convenience. Es ist eigentlich die, die Vorschriften, dass die an Bord sein müssen, dass die Regeln klar sein müssen und dass die Arbeitnehmer auch äh, Recht haben, sich auf die Vorschriften zu berufen. The Convention will become law in August, one year after ratification by a critical mass of 30 nations. The current tally stands at 35, representing around two-thirds of the world's gross tonnage. And at this very moment, 12 EU member states have ratified and uh, about 13 our other member states are preparing the ratification. So with this support by the Parliament and we hopefully also by the Council, this will push the member states to go quicker. Basic employment rights for mariners, a more level playing field for ship owners and simplified reporting requirements for governments. MEPs hope the MLC will be a step forward for everyone involved.